Yeah, so recently there's been a lot of discussion about a new condition. Uh, it's actually an old condition that we've kind of resurfaced. It's called LAL deficiency or lysosomal acid lipase deficiency. So what is it? It's a condition in which the liver can't process cholesterol esters correctly. So either be because of the food that we ingest that has cholesterol or as a consequence of the body recycling cholesterol, it comes back to the liver as cholesterol esters. Those esters have to be broken down into free cholesterol for the body to use it once again. And therein lies the problem. They don't have a digestive enzyme within those lysosomes in order to do so. As a consequence, two things happen. One is the cholesterol levels will go up. Again, in most of our experiences, that looks like it might be familial hypercholesterolemia. So our inclination is to treat these with standard drug therapy, including statins. The problem is that that cholesterol ester is trapped inside lysosomes, and those lysosomes reside in the liver. And as a consequence of all this cholesterol ester, those, that cholesterol ester is going to cause damage to the liver, and ultimately it's going to cause scarring or cirrhosis. So these people get into serious trouble with liver failure. Interesting enough, the therapy that we offer to lower cholesterol, statins, may actually make that condition worse because what they do is upregulate the LDL receptor, cause more cholesterol esters to be incorporated into the liver, uh, but they can't go anywhere. They don't have an enzyme to digest it. So there's, there's new and promising uh, therapies on the horizon. We hope that that'll be FDA approved sometime in the near future and it'll be safe and effective. But it basically is replacing the enzyme that's deficient. And as a consequence of that, hopefully the liver function studies will normalize uh, Short-term studies up to a year, we've seen dramatic improvements in liver function studies as well as the cholesterol level. So stay tuned. I think uh, lysosomal acid lipase deficiency uh, may be something on everybody's horizon here in the near future.